Wednesday and today is a really, really special day because today we're releasing our 99th and 100th daily draw. So we started our daily draw on the 26th of March and every weekday Elizabeth and I have been filming and producing these uh, daily draw videos for you. This one, these, both this 99th and 100th one, the Winnie the Pooh ones are really, really special. Winnie the Pooh floating off in a balloon was actually a lesson that I took around pretty much every primary school in Ayrshire right at the start when we were beginning the little art school. So it's, quite really, it's a really lovely part of our little art school story and that's why I wanted it to be our 99th picture. And the 100th picture, the little art school, um, 100th daily draw, is a uh, poo piglet and Christopher Robin playing poo sticks. So I'm really hoping everybody does them both and make sure you share them with us and say happy 100. <laughs> daily draw. I'm so excited about this and I love Winnie the Pooh so we've picked Pooh Sticks with Christopher Robin and you see we've got Christopher Robin, we've got Piglet and we've got Winnie the Pooh all playing Pooh Sticks and it looks really complex but just trust in us we'll break it right down to the shapes and you are going to love drawing this one. Now if you have had a look at the junior they actually did this one here they did the, the Winnie the Pooh on his um, balloon and we're going to do it here in the watercolour sketchbook just underneath there like that. Now where do we start with a painting like this? Well we start with just ignoring all of that detail and getting in the shapes. So let's start here with the shapes and what we've got is Halfway across, I want you to look where I'm holding the pencil, really loose, draw a line. That's pretty easy, isn't it? First and then just underneath it, but not a straight line now. We don't want a straight line. We want a kind of wobbly line underneath, there like that. Now leaving a bit of a gap, we're gonna do two more lines. Both of them slightly wobbly, not really wobbly. This is our little bridge. And then the same again here. One, two. Now it's important that we've got these lines the right distance apart because that's really gonna help us with our drawing. The here, is, there's a slightly smaller gap. So I want you to take, and that's gonna be the bottom of the bridge there. I want you to just take that across. And then we're gonna come in and this is gonna be the post on the bridge here. I'll show you on there. So it's gonna be this one here. So coming in, I just want you to take a line down. Again, don't worry about it being really straight. This is not something you want a ruler for at all. Take that one in, slightly out and then down. Right, let's start with Winnie the Pooh then. So Winnie the Pooh's body we're gonna put in here, touching the side here coming up and all we're going to do is we're going to have a little egg shape in and that is going to show us where Winnie the Pooh is going to go. So there's our first shape to Winnie the Pooh and then on actually on that line a smaller shape, egg shape there and that'll be Piglet. Piglet's tiny. So we've got that one there. Leave a small gap here and when you come to the top between the top two lines there what we're going to do is we're going to put a little line with a slight curve there and a line with a slight curve there. This is gonna be Christopher Robin's body there. So we'll lean, we'll take a little curve up like that. And then coming down, just finish it off there like that. And what I want here, cause this will be the top of his shorts, is just a curved line up. And then let's take down two straight lines. One down to there, two. They're gonna become his legs in the next one. So if you pause now and pop in those first basic shapes. So we've actually got quite a lot of the drawing in here. You might not think it, but all we've got to do here is we take this line here and we're going to put in Winnie the Pooh's head. Now, remember, we're not seeing the front of him. We're just seeing the back of him because he's leaning over the edge of the bridge and we want his little arm there resting as if he's about to drop that in and then he's got two tiny little legs here oh i love winnie the pooh so much there we go 
When I was thinking about what to do for the hundredth, there was no choice. It had to be Winnie the Pooh. So that's Piglet's body. I'm going to take it up here, his little face, because he's remember his head's quite long. And we've got these two little ears that stick out like that. So that's his ears. And then this is really cute. His little arm is coming up here to touch Pooh. And we've got another little arm coming down there like that. And two tiny little legs. So that's Pooh and Piglet. Let's go on to it. Christopher Robin. This looks like it might be hard and it's not. What I want you to do is to just stick with the extra shapes. So what we're doing here is we're going to come up and we're going to put, think of the negative shape there, that's just the edge of his arm coming there and we're going to put a little shape up there like that and touching. So I want to take that up slightly there. That's going to come down because he's kind of leaning into it. And then we're going to put a shape there for what's going to become his arm. Now his head, because it's like the top of his head, it doesn't look, it's not like we're going to put a circle on the top for his head. This is, you've got, I want you to watch it. At the edge of where it touches there, those two lines touch there, I want you to bring it round to there. Then it's quite straight there and it goes. So it's as if his head is turning to look round. Can you see that? So if you can see the rubber. I'm going to rub out these lines here and we'll start to see his body starting to make a bit more sense. So here, what we've got is it coming in and we've got a little line up for the shorts. So we'd already put the basic line in, we're just going to adapt that slightly and we're going to adapt this line slightly. So it's just minor adaptions for the, from the shapes that you made earlier. We've got a small gap there, think about the negative space. And his arm is coming like this down. Curve it off. And that's the top of him there. So let's put his stick in. His poo stick comes up like that. I think he's going to win because his poo stick's much bigger. That is my husband's. That's what he does. That's what Elizabeth's dad does. He just gets the biggest stick and he always wins. So there's his stick coming down. Now, these we've just got two lines for his legs. And when you pause, you'll see these all these lines here that we're rubbing out, they're just dot, red dotted lines. So these two lines here are red dotted lines. Just go round them like that. It's not a straight line, it just goes in. And then we've got like a little shoe here. And on the other side, it's gonna do the same. So we've got that line and then we can rub out the line in the middle it's kind of our guiding line it's just helping us put his legs in place and now we'll do exactly the same with this leg coming down coming slightly in at the ankle and we've got that shape there for a shoe again coming in at the ankle out a little bit at the knee and coming in we'll rub that line out so if you just pause there and put those shapes in. So now let's get some of these lines out of the way. We're going to rub those lines there out. And that one. All the lines in poo there. Let's rub those out too. And make sure that he, you can really see his edge and his little arm coming through. And now what you'll see if you go on to step three is this. So that's step three. It's quite complicated, but it, all it is, all your shapes are in. This are, these are the pen marks. I'm not going to put these in now because these are all going to go in right at the end. They're going to go in with pen. There's no need to put them in first with pencil and then go over it. In fact, it's better to go with the pen because you get this lovely looseness. But what I will give myself is just a little bit of help, just a couple of marks around here to show myself where I want the tops of the trees to be. And when I come on to the next step with the painting, that is going to really help me because if you see here, this is what we're going to do next. Now, if you're not going to do this with paint, you could just pause here at step three and do all the pen marks, really have some fun with it. But fast forward through the painting if you don't want to go through the painting to see how I do the pen marks, because there's a, there's a bit of a method behind it. Right, let's get painting. <music> So 
the idea behind this is incredibly loose washes. This isn't neat, neat painting. This is really loose washes. And what we're going to start with is just a bit of water on our palette. And I'm going to go into the yellow a touch here. And I'm just going to just paint in Christopher Robin's hair. Now, did you see how little paint I put in there? Just a bit. And then I'm going to take a wet brush and take it out. So that's his hair in. And now I'm going to do the same with Winnie the Pooh. But I'm going to put in more yellow and a touch of this orange. Let me check that that's a bit too orange, possibly. I'm not sure Winnie the Pooh would approve of that. I'm going to come around, put in his little legs. And then just take a wet brush. And I'm just going to spread that wash up so it's not too dark. I haven't got any paint on my brush now. I've just got what I'm taking from the paper. There, so that's Winnie the Pooh in and that's Christopher Robin's hair. And what we'll do next is we'll create a sort of pale wash to put the pattern that is on his, um, he's got a kind of check pattern on his shirt. And I want such a tiny bit of blue there. Let's check that it's not too dark. No, that's about right. And I'm just going to go really loosely here and I'm going to put in a few lines and a few like that. And then I'm going to wipe my brush, squeeze it out and I'm going to really loosen that off so it doesn't look too... Also, because I did it a bit quickly there, it's gone into his hair. I've given him slightly blue hair so I'll just lift that bit out because I want that just to be plain paper. I'm going in lift it out with a bit of or I can go in with my brush and some clean water and that will lift it as well now for the shorts I want a slightly darker blue so if I just add a touch hardly any I'm being so subtle here and I'll put the shorts in I'm going to leave a little gap so it doesn't all run in together. We've got there. And for Piglet, his body, I'm going to do here just a tiny bit of green. Actually, what I'll do is I'll add some yellow into that blue. You see that? Just a tiny bit of yellow. And that's going to give me Piglet's body there. Now I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute and then I'm going to put in the sky and the trees around it. So I am going to start here now with a blue wash for the sky and the little bit of river that we can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make three washes here. So while my water's clean, because I will inevitably forget to use the cleaning water, I'm going to do three here and then I've got plenty of warm water ready on my palette. Now, hardly any. Oh my goodness, that's far too much. That's going to be a really dark blue sky. So I'm just going to absolutely put loads of water in. Let's see. Even that's far too, far too dark. So let's just keep going with the water. But you always need to try your washes out first, just to check. Okay, I think I'll do that and I'll just lift it slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to wet the bit that I want to drop the blue in. So that's the sky going down to the trees like that. And then I'm thinking about the bits here in between. And there, I'm going around poo. And there. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna drop, because it's already wet, just drop touches of it in there. So it's all about being really subtle with these washes. So that's the first one. What I'm now going to do is add some yellow into that. Let's see. And that will give me a green, although it might be slightly too bright for what I'm looking for. I'll keep that for another one. And I'm going to go into this green here for my really light green. See? Perfect. Right, and now I'm just going to go like that. And I don't mind if it go, just blends into the sky there, because that's what I'm looking for. These lovely, soft, loose washes. And I'm going to take it right up to... Christopher Robin here and all around there. So I'm going to take it to the top of, but I really don't want to go over the top of the bridge. There we go like that. So really loose. And what I'm going to do is just drop a bit of that 
darker that I mix there, just a tiny bit, not much. Just let it, and if you feel like you've got too much, you can just take it out with a bit of your kitchen roll. And now I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna take that green here and here, and on both of these sides as well, and a bit there, and a bit at the bottom here. And maybe I might put a touch, like hardly any, just a touch of that dark just subtly in there. Now what I want now is a really sort of darker, but not, not bright dark green. So let's go for a bit of that. Just playing around, putting some blue in. Let's pop some of this green in as well. That was very, very dark. I don't really want it to be that dark. So now I'm gonna put a bit of brown in, see what happens there. black I think I've gone for here. Let's go for brown. I was just thinking that my new 100th um, anniversary um, palette is already already messy. Right okay so I'm going to do that and I'm going to lift it out slightly so that you can't see piglets legs there. Okay and as we film the 100th what, what you can actually hear in the background <laughs> my children because I am multitasking. I think that says everything about the daily draw. And I'll let that dry for a minute here while I now come in and I'm going to mix. So I need to take up some here, a very light skin colour for Christopher Robin's legs. So there we go, just a tiny touch. And we've done this before on a few daily draws. Tiny bit of yellow, a tiny bit of red. Let's make sure we put a lot more water in. Test it out. Needs to be a little bit pinker. Let's do it again. Perfect. And this is how fast I'm going to go here with that. I just want a little bit there and a little bit there. And I'm going to go in and take a bit of that blue because I forgot to do the sleeve and I'll put it there. And that's how loose we're going. So really, really loose. So I'm going to let that dry now and then I'm going to come in. So with I've paint. left this one to dry now and oh, you'll be happy to hear Angus has had his, uh, got his macaroni cheese. Um, and I'm now going on to finish it off with the ink. So let's have a look at this. If you're thinking that looks nothing like this, it will do. It's simply the pen. Now I'm using a fine liner here. Um, which I can go over the paint with, but actually you could pretty much do it with anything. If you don't have a fine liner, a ballpoint would work really well. Or if you don't have that, just a biro, just use whatever you have, but keep, make sure you've got something with a nice thin nib. Let me show you what I'm talking about with marks, the marks we're gonna make. So what we're not doing here is outlining. So we're not going round Winnie the Pooh like that. That's not what we're doing. We're not outlining. What we're doing instead is holding the pen really loosely and we're gonna go around and we're gonna put these really light squiggly marks in everywhere. And that really fits in with the classic style of the illustration. So it's those really loose marks like this. And when you come to shading in the trees, some of it's gonna be like that and some of it's gonna be like that. And some of it's gonna be moving around. What I suggest you do is before you start doing on your painting, Get your pen and have a go on your on a piece of scrap paper and just start um, start practicing the marks you're going to make. I'm not going to do all this because I literally would be here for about 45 minutes, which is about how long it took me to do this. But this, if you if you go back to step three and pause it, that will show you all the marks that you want to make. So I'm going to start with Christopher Robin here, and I'm just going to keep moving my pen around. So lots and lots of little marks here going around there and then I'm going to go in looking at what I've got here and just put these little marks going in his hair and I'm going to go right round the body like that and I'm just going to put in wherever I see a mark on the step three um, I'm going to come in everybody is trying to get in on our hundredth drawing today so that's Cooper now he's trying to get into it too when we first started this Elizabeth and I tried to really hard to keep a, a very sort of quiet studio atmosphere in our pop-up filming area in the dining room um, but nobody really respects it anymore because we're here all the time now so can you see I'm just shading it like that lots of shading coming down let's get his shorts in like that and his top needs to come down to there like that and a few lines and with his legs there's no actual shading in there but what you do want to do is just go over a little 
marks around. I'm going like this. Right, I'm not going to do, do it all, but I'll come in and I'll show you a few of the marks in the trees. So if you have a little look here, can you see? Look how fast you can move your pen, just keeping it going around here. We've got lots of straight lines as well as curvy lines. So you're just looking to see, well, what, what kind of lines have they? We've got some dotted lines. We've got some dots. We've got some little squiggles. And then up here, we've got some real squiggle squiggles. And all you're doing here is moving your pen really fast around. So you can take your time to build that up. I'm not gonna do it all, but I'm just gonna give you an indication of what, what we've got here. I'm gonna spend some time this afternoon just really enjoying doing this. It's actually incredibly relaxing doing these kind of um, this this kind of pen drawing, and you're shading with your pen as well. So I'll show you that really shows up here on this post. If I'm going to take that down like that, and on this side we want it to look darker, so I'm going to put lots of lines in, a few broken lines. So you're thinking about broken lines, you're thinking about hatching, you're thinking about cross hatching, and just. Use the, um, this here on step three, use it as a guide, but don't feel like you have to slavishly follow it at all. But it does change what is just a bit of blue paint into being, look, you've got some things there, you've got some little lines coming around, you've got some lines here, straight lines here. So can you see how quickly the picture starts to come together? Round here, it's all lots of squiggles and we'll take all that down there. Coming here to the bottom, to Winnie the Pooh, you just loosely, just like I showed you earlier, we're not going round, we're just taking lots of little marks. So you can really see him and he really sticks out. We've got a little line coming in there and there, a bit of shading down that side. One here. And that's it for Pooh and Piglet's the same. Just going round, lovely loose marks. Give him a little squiggle. And right at the bottom here, we've got lots of marks because on the bridge, you've got a few as if you're thinking about planks coming across, but also then we've got these shadows here. And that's all you're doing to put in the shadows. So I'm gonna go and sit and finish this off now in my own time. I'm gonna really take my time on it and, and enjoying putting in all the lovely marks squiggle marks like this to everybody who's been with us from the beginning um, and made this daily draw just a total source of joy for the last 100 days thank you and for um elizabeth who's here filming for the 100th daily draw thank you sweetheart you've been amazing and we hope you love it make sure you send us your pictures We hope you really loved the Winnie the Pooh today and thank you for all those of you who've been with us through a hundred daily draws. It's amazing and actually I feel like we've made all these artist friends with our little art school family and you guys sitting at home drawing and painting. We've loved it. We've loved seeing your pictures. Make sure you send them to us. Uh, we've got a few weeks left before the summer term ends so let us know what you want for our hundred plus daily draws. Mm -hmm.